Okay, prosecutors in New Mexico are once again seeking charges against actor Alec Baldwin. And you remember this, the fatal shooting that happened on the set of Rust? That was two years ago at this point. It's two years. It's just amazing. It feels like yesterday because it was so shocking. Uh, this is all based on a new report uh, where prosecutors are saying the gun was not modified before it was placed into Baldwin's hands. And they're saying that makes him liable. Uh, they're planning to show this to a grand jury in the coming weeks. Stephanie Haynes is joining us live to break everything down. Uh, Stephanie, this, this is not a case of double jeopardy? No, Adrian, it's not. And it's because these same special prosecutors that decided to drop that original involuntary manslaughter charge against Baldwin back in April included this provision that they can reopen the case if new information comes to light. And that is exactly what prosecutors are saying here. This new gun analysis shows that there had to be some depression or some pulling of the trigger. Now we know Baldwin has always denied that he ever pulled the trigger, but now these special prosecutors are saying, let's take it to a grand jury, let them decide if charges should be brought. A new chapter may be unfolding in the saga of actor Alec Baldwin and the fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Special prosecutors in New Mexico announced they plan to present the case to a grand jury. A new gun analysis released in August shows the shooting was the result of, quote, the pull or rearward depression of the trigger. Whether or not he pulled the trigger is going to be central to this case. In this particular case, the prosecution's theory as of now is the gun was not modified and that Alec Baldwin shirked his responsibilities. The shooting happened back in October of 2021 while rehearsing a scene. I take the gun out slowly, I turn, I cock the pistol, bang, it goes up, she hits the ground, she goes down. Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed and director Joel Souza was wounded. Baldwin has always maintained he did not pull the trigger and that he was told the gun was not loaded with live ammunition. I expect Alec Baldwin's defense to not only focus on these technical issues surrounding the gun, surrounding the protocols on set, but to very much be focused on Hannah Gutierrez Reed and her responsibilities. The film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, has pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter and evidence tampering. Her trial is set for February. In the meantime, filming of the movie Rust resumed in Montana and has reportedly wrapped as of last spring. Hutchins' husband is executive producing as part of a settlement with Baldwin. No word on when the movie will be released. And we reached out to Baldwin's team just for comment, Hadn't heard, have not heard from them at this point. And this case is really complicated because a first assistant director has pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor for his alleged role in the handling of this prop gun. Uh, and in terms of the grand jury and the timeline of this, the special prosecutors say they're going to present it uh, within the next two months. So this could be a while until we hear what's next. Marky, Adrian. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.